the biggest day in Fleetwood Town's history, plowing their way into the second round for the very first time. But how much we'll actually see of it, I haven't the foggiest. Goodness me. Former Everton and Blackpool midfielder Jamie Milligan is the Fleetwood captain. And they have a potent strike force in Andy Bell and Adam Warlow. Ten goals apiece this season. Danny Wilson's Hartlepool have lost three of their last four. And today, two key players in the injured James Brown and Kevin Kyle, on loan from Coventry, who avoids being cup-tied. They do have, though, a front man in form in Australian Joel Porter. The FA Cup is alive and positively kicking here in the bracing seaside air. As Fleetwood Town, the Cod Army as they're known, get us underway. Excitement, not just for those inside either. This is a real community club, and the whole town is relishing this cup tie. Mickey Mellon, the man who's hoping to guide Fleetwood through to the third round. Here's McCulley, the Scottish defender. Only partially cleared away. And a spectacular strike for Bunkhouse that was not far wide of the mark. He struck that beautifully. Much to his uh, frustration, Joel Porter. Mighty close call, but his bell now threw at the other end. Surely will score, yes! How fortune swung so quickly then from one end to the other, and Fleetwood Town have taken the lead here through Andy Bell, his sixth goal in the FA Cup this season, and he shows such composure, such poise in front of goal two. Suddenly cleared up field there. Defenders were slow to react. He certainly wasn't, though. Andy Bell took it really sweetly there. And the dream is on. Porter racing through the centre. Has he taken it too wide here? Supports arriving in the middle. Still Porter. And he wanted to dug it back too far. From what I could see of it, anyway. But the chance maybe hasn't gone. Here's McCoy! What a response from Hartlepool. They have shown their character here and have gone behind. Mike McKay, only playing today because Kevin Kyle didn't want to be cut tight. Has delivered in some style that for Danny Wilson's team. A very relieved Danny Wilson. Well, they were playing for offside, there was no flag, and McKay took his chance superbly. He doesn't get too many starts in the team. Upfrizz. That was Mackay with a super finish. Well, he has really repaid the faith shown in him by Danny Wilson today. He doesn't get the start too many, but boy, has he taken his opportunity this afternoon. Really emphatic finish here. Loose defending, charitable defending by Fleetwood, and fully punished by that Schilling strike from Mike Mackay. Two goals for him today. It's Gary Little. Well charged out though by Kay. Humphreys. And then Sweeney, and Porter! And Hartlepool now have taken another firm step towards a place in the third round. Maybe a little scruffy in the end, but Porter in the right place to steer it home. Sweeney, it flew right across the goal. And Porter, perfectly positioned. No one really picking him up at the far post. Milligan, good football here from Fleetwood, and Warlow is outside, Adam Warlow, who might go all the way through, and has, and they are right back in it. And suddenly, Highbury Avenue is jumping. 2-3. And now, they have a chance, they really do have a chance. Look at his corners here, away from Nelson. Beyond the keeper. And they have the fillet they need. 
Young man of much potential, as he emphasised here, with the quality of that finish. Adam Warlow. Well. And the keeper held on. Under pressure, and the whistle has gone anyway. A little uh, skirmish has broken out here. There's a foul on the keeper. Aaron Lee Barrett. Well, he's been cautioned for his part in it. Down go the two. Was there a bit of afters? Oh, there certainly was. Goodness me, he lashed out there. Aaron Lee Barrett is very lucky not to have been sent off. Here's Porter. Joel Porter, but no, it wouldn't have counted anyway because the final whistle has gone. The FA Cup dream of making the third round is over for Fleetwood, but what a battle they gave Hartlepool United today. Lucky losers on the biggest day in their history, but it's Hartlepool who have to come safely through to claim their place in the third round draw. Winners at Highbury Avenue, Danny Wilson's team, by three goals to two. Was it difficult for well, just to see what was going on from a, a coaching point of view? It was. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't the easiest, and I'm sure it wasn't easy for you, for the guys to follow it on the cameras. But um, but that's what it is. The weekends like this, the weather like this, away from home, non-league club, FA Cup weekend, and that's sometimes when the shocks come along, isn't it? But thankfully, it's not us today. I thought it was a fantastic game. I think both both sets of players can be credited because I think they had the right good go to it. Both teams tried to play the right way, tried to get it done, and we tried to play football. Um, and the conditions really, uh, the, the, the lads just got on with it. It is disappointing, but I think we can, you know, hold our heads up high, and you know, we've not, we've, you know, we've not got any regrets, and you know, um, you know, we know that, you know, give a good account of ourselves. We knew it was going to be uh, a banana skin tie, and uh, you know, coming here to a non-league club is, is always difficult, and the conditions didn't help. Obviously, it's pretty tough to see out there, and, and the pitch was a bit uh, dug up, but we got through, it and that's the that's the name of the game. A rather unsavoury incident towards the end. Your, your, your keeper involved there. Mm. What was your reading of that? Um, it looks like a bit of retaliation. You know, I think the um, the, the striker's got him low with his elbow first. I think he looks like he's caught um, iron under the chin with the elbow. Referee's given the free kick, no doubt about it. But they, they both fell on the floor together. There's been a flailing elbow from um, from our goalkeeper, so he's, he was lucky. Should he have been sent off? You could get sent off for that quite easily, yeah.